Hello and welcome to the Word Processor Billing Templates video tutorial for EasyLaw. Word Processor Billing merges client transaction details from EasyLaw into a billing template to produce bills that you can then send to your clients. The billing template contains bookmarks which control the type and location of information included on the bill so that the bill is formatted correctly. It is recommended that you create new templates for your firm using the template samples to ensure that the bills that you generate suit the needs of your firm and clients. Word processor billing is not available in the U.S. version of EasyLaw. EasyLaw comes with two template samples for Microsoft Word, Word Template HST and Word Template HST GST PST, and one default template sample for each of Corel WordPerfect versions 9, 10, and 11. The sample templates are located in the directory in which EasyLaw is installed. To begin customizing a template, open a sample template in your word processor. You can either open the directory where EasyLaw is installed and retrieve one of the sample templates, or you can select Billing, Create Bills Word Word Perfect, followed by Create Bill Template, and retrieve one of the sample templates. Once you have opened a sample template, I recommend that you save the template under a new name in the EasyLaw directory before you begin editing. You must also make sure that you save your new templates as the correct type or EasyLaw Word Processor Billing will be unable to find your new templates. Templates can be modified to include your company logo and letterhead and to contain specific information for a variety of billing requirements. Margins, tabs, text alignment, text justification, and font types and sizes can also be modified. You can also add fixed descriptions for time and recurring disbursements. You can create and customize as many templates as your firm requires. When you open a template in your word processor, you will see bookmarks like underscore client name. If you are using Microsoft Word, you may also see square brackets around the bookmarks. If you are using Word and don't see the brackets and would like to, you can select the option in your Word to show bookmarks. It is important that you do not edit the bookmarks or insert spaces between the brackets or delete the underscore as the bookmark will no longer work properly. It is also important that you do not delete tables or columns within tables as this may cause the bookmarks for time and disbursements to no longer work properly. You can delete bookmarks and tables if you do not wish to include the information on your template. Header bookmarks for time can be deleted to remove this information from your template. For example, you may only wish to display the date and description of a time entry. You can remove the headers for hours and amount and then make the columns for these categories smaller to maximize the display of the description. Total bookmarks can also be deleted if you are making a recalculating template and wish to replace these bookmarks with formulas. Go to the Help in EasyLaw and select Billing, Word Processor Billing, followed by Customizing Billing Templates for detailed explanations of the bookmarks and fields in the default templates. Creating Word Processor templates can be difficult if you have no experience making them. If you require assistance creating Word templates or if you wish to create recalculating Word templates which give you the ability to make changes to fees, 
disbursements and trust transfer amounts, and then recalculate the totals, please contact EasyLaw. I have made a sample of a potential template that you could use for your firm so that you can see the options available to you. As you can see on the screen, templates can be considerably different than the sample default templates that come with the system. Thank you for watching the Word Processor Billing Templates video tutorial.